Now let's discuss question number 126. The macromolecule chitin is, now chitin we know it's a polysaccharide which is N-acetyl glucosamine. So there is an amine group that means it's a nitrogen containing polysaccharide. So our answer is 4. Let's move on to the next question that is 127. The H zone or the Henson's zone in the skeletal muscle fiber is due to. Now this is a light colored zone where the actin filaments are not overlapping over the myosin filaments. So out of these options when we see it is the central gap between the actin filaments extending through myosin filaments in the a band that means there is a gap where actin filaments are not present so that is the H zone and our answer would be 2. So after this let's move on to the next 128. So now let's discuss question number 128. Meiosis takes place in the first is conidia. Conidia is a asexual structure which after mitosis results in the formation of new fungal body. Gemmule is formed in the sponges, again asexual structure, after mitosis results in the body of the sponge. Now megaspore is haploid, it is formed after meiosis. Now in the megaspore, mitosis will occur which results in the formation of female gametophyte or embryo sac. Now meocyte, any cell which shows meiosis that is meocyte. So it means meocyte is correct option for this. So for this question, the right answer is option number 4. So now we will be discussing the next question that is 129th. Now let's see question number 129. Now this is a diagram which is depicting a synapse, a chemical synapse and we have to identify at least two of them out of A to D. Now out of these options we can see that these are the synaptic vesicles which is marked as C and A here is the receptors for the neurotransmitter in the postsynaptic membrane. So this option here is in the fourth one A the receptor and C the synaptic vesicle. So our answer is option 4 and we can move on to the next question 130. In the question number 138, we have to see which is incorrect option. So now the first one, botanical gardens. So you know the botanical gardens, they are living herbaria. They have collection of living plants. This is correct. Now coming to the museum, museum has collection of photographs of plants and animals. Museums, they have preserved plant and animal specimens. So this is incorrect. Key is a taxonomic aid for identification, surely. Key, it is used for the identification of plants and animals on the basis of similarities and dissimilarities. Fourth, herbarium. Herbarium has dried, pressed, preserved plant specimens, right? So amongst these, this one is correct, this is correct, this one is correct and this Museum one is incorrect because the museum possess both plant and animal preserved specimen, right? So it means for this question, the right answer is option number two. Now coming to the question number 131. Now global warming can be controlled by which of the following? Now global warming is what? Now, you know the greenhouse gases like the carbon dioxide, methane, chlorofluorocarbon. Due to the increased concentration of the greenhouse gases, the greenhouse effect has increased, which has increased the global mean temperature. Yes, rise in the global mean temperature. Due to the increase in the production of the greenhouse gases, what do you call this as global warming? 
So how we can control the global warming? We can control global warming if we reduce the concentration of the greenhouse gases, reduce the emission of greenhouse gases. So first option if we see here, reducing deforestation. If we reduce deforestation, plant more and more trees, then more and more carbon dioxide is fixed. This will reduce the greenhouse gas increasing the burning of fossil fuel no fossil fuels when their breakdown occurs this results in the release of carbon dioxide so this cannot be there so this process decreases carbon dioxide and this one increases carbon dioxide so this will not reduce the global warming next is increasing deforestation so this will increase the carbon dioxide concentration, greenhouse gas, slowing down the growth of human population. Yes, human population if it is decreased, so due to the human activities, the emission of carbon dioxide that will surely be decreased here. Increasing deforestation, again it will increase the amount of greenhouse gases reducing efficiency of energy usage so de increasing deforestation this will increase the concentration of the greenhouse gases now the last one reducing deforestation if the deforestation is decreased so this will decrease the carbon dioxide because the plants they will fix it along with that cutting down the fossil fuel this will also decrease the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide will be decreased greenhouse gases will be decreased so this will surely control the global warming now coming to the next question here 132